Okay, so this is called a coping saw. Okay, and you can remember it's called a coping saw because it's got kind of like a little bit of a C shape to it for coping. All right. Um, and it's called a coping saw because it helps us cope with difficult cuts. So if you've got to make a curved cut, a coping saw is an ideal hand tool to use. So a few features about a coping saw. One of the features is that you can loosen the handle, okay, and you can take the blade out and you can cut through a, a hole. We'll show you that in a later video. The main thing to do though is to make sure that these sighting pins here, they line up. So they need to be in the same direction. If you're cutting something and, and the, um, hand, uh, the frame is going to get in your way, you can just adjust the sighting pins like so, as long as they line up, so that you can cut and the frame is now out of the way and you can, you can cut with it without banging into things. Okay? I'm going to make sure that this coping saw is nice and tight and I'm going to line my sighting pins up so it's just in a standard so it's just in a standard format okay in a standard position all right so you can see that now the teeth need to be facing backwards towards you so as i cut it as i pull it back towards me that's where i'm going to get the cutting action okay so for this demonstration i am just going to do I'm going to do just a wiggly line on here. Okay, so you can see, I'm just going to have a bit of a test zone on this scrap area here. I'm going to try and follow that wiggly line. Okay, so I'll put it, put it in my vise. Nice and tight. And you can see that I'm going to try and follow that line. All right, so I put my coping saw teeth on the MDF. Just put it back once, twice, three times. I'm holding it with two hands. I'm just going to slightly angle my coping saw to bring the blade to this shape. Okay? So you can see now the bench is getting in the way so I can't angle it up at the moment so I have to slightly loosen the handle okay and I can adjust the sighting pins so that the frame is well out of the way I just need to make sure they line up they're not quite straight I'm happy with that hold it there just tighten it back up Now, I move back a little bit and get a bit of rhythm, get a bit of speed going, and just start to angle it up. Cut that almost jigsaw-like piece using a coping saw. It's helped me cope with those curved edges. Okay, and that is a coping saw.